Hi, this is Cheryl St. Pierre of Majestic Wire Artworks. In this video, I'm doing a remake of the double circle earring. Um, I'm going to try and stay in, in, in the screen more this time. It is so hard to do, and I apologize for not doing it. Um, this was my demonstration pair of earrings for that video. And then this, this is the pair of earrings that I made in that video. And um, I want to make this an augmentation um, tutorial so that all the discussion of beads and wires and such I recommend if you want to use something different than what I'm using to give it a listen to the beginning of the other video I'll have the two videos uh, linked in the description um, what I'm using in this video to give a variation of the beads because I use rondelles in the top element here I'm going to use all round beads and I use 10 millimeter beads in these earrings uh, both pairs and I'm using 12 millimeter so I recommend 10 to 14 millimeter 14 is a little bit large but some people like large so I'm making because I'm using round it's going to make a longer earring um, and a bigger um, bead at the bottom makes it longer as well so let's go ahead I'm using 20 gauge raw dead soft copper in case you're wanting to know what wire I'm using some people always ask me what type of where I get my wire from and I get it from um, realgrande.com that's all you need to type in is realgrande.com and it'll take you right to it um, I live in Canada and Rio Grande is located in the United States it takes me a while to get my wire I always try to order it well ahead of time um, so what you're going to need is three 10 pieces, 10 inch pieces, and I forgot to cut uh, one 10 inch piece because this is the second time I'm making this video today. I had, uh, I seem to be having a lot of um, um, technical issues. I am not uh, by any means a camera person. I spend my time running a daycare in my home and on the side I design jewelry and make these tutorials and so when people expect me to do a perfect video that's not going to happen because I don't have the time or the money to spend on people to help me with this and I just want you to bear with me it allows me to share with you and uh, <sighs> that said I'm going to move on. Okay, so I've got 10 inches of wire here. You need three pieces of 10 inches. The first piece is going to make the top, both top elements. So you're going to not throw away your scrap. You're going to use it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is decide what beads you're going to have. I've got two four millimeter and one six millimeter round. And you also need to, on your pliers, have your favorite size of loop that you want to use. Mark it if you have to so you can be consistent. It does affect the length of your earrings if it's not um, consistent. And you want to make a loop. And there I'm going out of focus again. Okay, so I'm going to start that again. I'm going to snip that loop off. The reason I had to restart this, I was three quarters done my video and I'm fighting with positioning on my hands under the video and I moved my camera and it bumped the controls and turned off the video, the taping. So, and I couldn't fix it. Now, stay in focus. I apologize for the band-aid on my finger. I have an infected finger at the moment. So, we want to make an eye loop. So, first it off, it was a P loop. And then I moved it over to make it an eye loop. And now I'm going to flatten it because it's bent. Okay, now I'm going to put on my 4mm, 6mm, and 4mm beads. Okay, 
see the interesting color variations. Turquoise does that. Um, can't be perfect. If it was artificial, I wouldn't have those issues, but that's these these beads um, have wonderful variations in color. So some of them have that black stuff. Um, I, I, I forget what it's called, but uh, that's how you can tell. One of the ways you can tell it's real uh, turquoise. Okay, so you want your loops perpendicular to each other, but I don't want you to worry about it because um, we can fix it. And we want a bit of workspace here, about two millimeters, so it's not too much. If you do it too much, it's, it's going to affect the look and bend that make your favorite size of loop and because these are reversed we're going to make the regular type of loop first where you have the wire on the left side of the loop see that's what i mean by left side the next one we're going to have it on the right side okay and now we're only going to do half a wrap so you got it like this, and you're doing half a wrap. And then you're going to put your beads together and cross over all three beads. And you, and what I've noticed is very consistently um, that loop is not where you want it to be. That's why I'm saying really don't worry about it. We're going to fix that later. And it happens every single time. Now I'm taking this uh, plier out and now I'm going to wrap. I'm holding this, whoops, I'm holding this in firmly in place and I'm going to wrap around just once like that. And then we're going to snip it with the flush cutters facing the earring, the flush part of your cutters facing the earring. So we get a nice smooth cut. If you have good flush, see these are totally flat. If you have uh, good flush cutters, they will cut fairly nice. And um, when it's got that angle, it doesn't cut as nice. So I'm straightening this out a little bit, crimping, crimping. Okay, so I straightened this out because it was angled. And now I'm crimping this in there. And now, whoops, this is the front and I want the loop to be this way. So I'm gonna grab it with my pliers and I'm not gonna untwist it. I'm gonna tighten the twist. Because if you do it the other way, you'll wreck, your, you'll wreck your piece. So that's the front. I want it to be perpendicular. Okay, now that that loop that's the priority loop right now, um, is the way we want it. Now we're going to make sure the bottom loop is perpendicular to it. And um, it doesn't matter which way you turn it, just make it perpendicular. And I'm straightening this out a little bit. And there, I think I've got it, and you want it straight. Okay, so that's the look you want. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make the second one. And grab your wire. Mine's all wonky. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a straighten. Okay, and we're going to make that loop at the top again. Consistent size. Okay, there it's a P loop. And it keeps going out blurry. I think it's because I have pliers in there. I've got to move them out. And bend it there. And now it's an eye loop. Okay, so now it's ready to put the beads on. So it's a four millimeter. I gotta snip off that end because it's too bent to allow the bead on. And 
in a six millimeter. Where are you? Well, this bead has more of the black in it. Okay, and then another four millimeter. Now, I notice that this wire is quite bent. I'm going to straighten it out. Okay, got it straight. Give myself that little bit of working space, not too much. Okay, now for this loop. Make the wire go to the left. And then make sure your loop is sitting nice as well because going to the left sometimes makes it go wonky. That's a favorite word of mine. It's always been a favorite word of mine. Okay, and I'm flipping it over so that it's at the front and doing a half wrap. Okay. And now I'm going over the three beads again. Okay. And now I'm going to hang on to that, get out of the way, and hold, I'm supporting it with my thumb and wrap around the loop. Snip it. Crimp it. There's quite a bit of wire left there, actually. Um, it's good to save that wire to make bead drops, future bead drops. So this is where it looks best in the front. And now I'm going to twist left. It's almost good, but just needs a little bit of tweaking. And then make the bottom one perpendicular. There, and that's done. Straighten that. Okay, so that one's done too. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the bottom element. And so you're gonna take one of your other 10 inch pieces, and I want you to bend them at four inches. Okay, so the four inches is to make your loop. So you've got the long part in your hand and you're making the loop with the shorter part. And um, again, your favorite size of loop, being consistent. And both of them, I want you to do this to both, just a regular loop, because there's no mirroring with this. So we're just gonna do four wraps. So it's gonna look like five, but we're doing four. Oh, there we go. Three and four and make sure it's tight up if it's not and make sure that your wraps look nice and even. I'm just tightening them up because these ones didn't look as neat as I wanted. There. Okay, so it looks like five wraps from the front. I not I usually go to the back, but I'm not this time. So really it's like three and a half wraps. And now I'm going to put my pliers for snipping it off as close as possible. Like this, because I really don't want to crimp that in. And because it's going to be covered, but I don't want it sticking out either. So if yours is sticking out, see how nice and flat I got there? That's what you want, but if you can't get it that good, you will you will need to crimp it in so it doesn't distort um, the other part of the earring. Now we need to straighten out this wire so it looks good and straight because that will affect the look of your earring. And I'm also straightening out the loop. Okay, and that's pretty much good to go now. And now I'm gonna put on my 12 millimeter bead. 
Remember, you can use 10 to 14 millimeters for this. And, and I'm doing, I'm bending it to the left. I'm going to do this with both. You don't have to switch it at all. And now I'm going to hug it around the bead. And wrap around the entire bead once, stopping at the beginning point or the hole in the bottom of the bead. And then the next wrap is we're doing, um, I'm just looking at this and I'm noticing that um, my wire or my wraps bent on me. I'm going to straighten that out now because you want it to be straight. That's important. Okay. Now, for reference point, we're going to make the second circle halfway up of the bead. And that's a good reference point to do this. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, but I just find um, eyeballing the halfway point is the easiest. And I'm using the shape of the bead because it's round. It's going to make circles everywhere um, to make my circle. And it turns out perfectly. And now at the junction of all the wires there, I'm going to push this up. So it's there, hugging the other wire. It keeps wanting to move. You don't want it to do that. And you're going to go now behind that wire. And you're going to hug the bead again. And come up to your top. And now you're going to wrap around once. At the base of your wrap see so it's cutting it's covering where um, your bottom or the end of your wraps were and we're going to snip it right there crimp it in there we go and it's done so if you really wanted to reverse it, the only thing you'd need to do is instead of bending it to the left, bend it to the right. But I honestly um, think that it, um, I'm going to just push this down again. Make sure that circle is centered. You can always fix it if it isn't. And then um, it, it would, the difference would be is that it would have the two wires on the right side instead and this overlapping here would be on the other side but you know when when your ear it really doesn't matter I honestly think that you can make two identical for this so I'm not going to demonstrate it doing it in reverse because it's actually self-explanatory I believe and now it's just time to assemble your earrings so go ahead and pause and um, make your other bottom and I'm just going to put my elements all together, assemble them. So what you need to do to assemble them is you look for um, that beginning eye loop and you bend it, you bend it, sorry, and you just put on, um, you got to make sure you have the front just put it on so it's front. If it goes on backwards, just take it off and flip it around. And there we go. Close it up. And there we go. And put on an ear wire. And mine's not, you should always check this. Mine's not sitting right. Sitting to the side. So what I need to do is adjust. See what's happened is um, this moved on me. And you should always do this checking. Probably when I was adjusting the circles. Okay, now is it sitting right? Yes, now it's sitting right. Okay, so that's always something to check. 
Um, just because you've assembled it doesn't mean that it's perfect right from the get-go. You always got to do your checks and make sure it's good. And go ahead and um, assemble your second one. I'm going to pause for that. Okay, so I have both of them assembled, both of them checked to be facing forwards. And um, you need to do the same. Thank you for joining me in this video. I'm hoping that technically that it is much better. It's been a challenge for me. Um, like I, I apologize for my videos. I know they're far from perfect, but the the main idea is I want I just want to teach you uh, my ideas. And if it bothers you, my videos not being perfect, then um, all I can say is. It's the best I can do, and uh, bear with me. Otherwise, um, you might have to watch somebody else. Thank you, everybody. God bless, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye for now.